Hello civil engineers, welcome back to the lecture. So we have seen almost all kind of footings here. And finally the rough, uh, the last footing what we have is a rough footing, right? So what exactly is a rough footing? We know that. So anyhow, I'll show it once again. So a rough footing is something where you have a one single footing and over that you have multiple columns. So we call it, we call it as a rough or few people call this as a mat foundation. Like, uh, yeah, somewhere here you see here, what has happened is a huge foundation what we have. And in between that you have multiple columns, something like this, isn't it? Huge foundation and then multiple columns in this way. It's called as rough foundation. How do you find the concrete quantity and also the shattering quantity for this? It's pretty simple. Okay. Nothing. I'll show you one uh, drawing for this. So we'll go to that drawing. So you can see here, it's a huge uh, and usually rough foundation we use when you have a huge building. For example, if you're constructing a ground plus 10 story building, okay or let us say a ground plus eight story building and all uh, and it depends on soil conditions also okay but typically up to g plus five building we don't use a rough foundation we usually go with a normal isolated footing or combined footing is sufficient okay but usually when you go for a very high rise building uh, big commercial buildings and all the best practice or the what what usually we do is we go with a rough foundation but again it depends on your soil conditions and all okay now uh, in this particular project what they have mentioned this is a footing okay see here uh, the one which is uh, this yellow color no i'll click on the yellow color so this entire is your rough foundation okay so the shape is something like this and now uh, the depth is mentioned here you can see it here i'll show you see here it's written 1000 thick rough means one meter is the thickness of your raft okay the depth of your foundation is one meter so since it's a huge foundation we'll try to find the concrete quantity so concrete quantity is pretty simple now here I will not, uh, uh, you know, since it's an irregular shape, see, if this was actually a square shape, then I could have taken the length, I could have taken the breadth and multiplied that by the depth that I could have done. But now what has happened? This is in, uh, uh, since it's an irregular footing, irregular uh, shape, I'll just click here. I'll click select on this. Okay, I'll select it and I'll press on Li. That is leashed and click on it. Click on this. Okay, this will directly give me the area. So you see, the area is 216980 So this is in mm now. Okay. This area is in mm square. But I will convert this into meter now. How shall I convert? It's very simple. I told you. So 1 meter is 1000 mm. Right? 1000 mm. But here the unit is given in which one? mm square. So uh, if I want uh, in 1 meter square. If I want. So if it is 1 meter square. Then what will happen? 1000 into 1000 I should do. Okay, that will be conversion. That means six zeros will come. One, two, three, four, five, six zeros will come. So whatever answer I have here, no, two, one, six, nine, eight, zero, two, eight, four. This I have to divide it by thousand. So I'll do that. This I'll divide by thousand. Okay, you can uh, not thousand. Sorry, one on this lakh. I mean three, three. Okay, six zeros I'll do. Now tell me what answer you're getting. You do it manually. So two, one, six, two, one, six, and uh, then I have nine, eight, zero. 2843 okay divided by 603 and 3 done so i'm getting 2169.80 meter square okay so this area is quite it's a huge area what i'm getting 2169.80 meter square is the area okay fine so i got the area i need to multiply this area with a depth i'll get the concrete quantity right so i'll write here only so concrete Quantity will be how much? 2169.80. You multiply this by the depth. Depth we have 1 meter. Okay. I'll multiply this by 1 meter. 1000 mm was there. So it's in meter. So no problem. So if you multiply this directly, you are going to get the concrete quantity. Area I got. This is my area. So this area I'll multiply by depth. Depth is 1 meter. I want the answer to be in meter. No? So 1000 mm, I put it in meter. So the concrete quantity itself is. 2169 cubic meter. It's a huge amount of concrete what is required in this particular footing. Okay. So that is what that is how you're supposed to understand. And now I'll also find the what part? I'll also find the uh this is uh what is that perimeter? I want to find the shattering quantity. For shattering, I want the perimeter. So perimeter is given 193641. So this perimeter is mm. Okay. Since the sites, since so if I not able to understand, you see here, if I take this dimension. You can see 3584. This is in mm. Okay. So if I divide this by 
thousand, I'll get in meter. So one, two, three. It will be thirty five point eight four meter. So in this way, you have to uh, add all the perimeter that this shuttering, this part, then again this part, then again this part, this part, this this this. So everywhere you add it, you'll get the perimeter. So that is why what we do since it's a irregular shape, I'll select here. I'll say li and enter. So perimeter is one nine three six four one. So this you have to divide by thousand. Okay, why it is thousand because it's a meter, no? It's an mm. I want to convert this into meter. So I just have to divide it by thousand. That's it. That was area. So we had taken one lakh. Okay. So if you do this, tell me how much answer you are getting. So I'll do it manually. One nine three six four one divided by thousand. So I'm getting one ninety three. One ninety three point six four meter. So this is my perimeter. Okay. This is my perimeter. Perimeter. Fine. I got my perimeter. So if I want the shuttering area, what I need to do? Therefore, shuttering area. Shuttering area will be your perimeter. That is one ninety three point six four multiplied by the depth. So depth we have one meter. That's it. So this itself is the answer. Okay. One ninety three point six four is the answer. What we have. So one ninety three point six four meter square. Three six four. Meter square of shuttering is required. Okay, so this is how we are supposed to take care of the uh, raft foundation. Okay, very simple. So if it was uh, instead of irregular shape, if it was uh, here also there is one more. Here also there is one more. See, here also there is one more raft footing, and here also there is one more raft footing. Okay, they have given all this raft footing, and outside it is isolated. So again, if you want to find this area, I'll select this footing. I'll say li. Okay, it's not selected. Selected. Yeah. Li enter. So again, area you see here and perimeter is given. Okay. So in this way, you are supposed to do the uh, quantity for the raft foundation. So shuttering and concrete we understood. Rest everything remains the same. Whatever maybe your stone soling or whatever if you do, it's the same thing what we did in the earlier cases. Okay. Only the thing is thing is uh, area you need to calculate, which will happen only through AutoCAD drawings. Hmm? That's it. So it's an apartment project. So that is why we have you can see here. B block D, then you have this uh, C block, and you have this maybe this is another block. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here. You got an idea how the rough foundation, concrete, and the shuttering has to be done. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.